In these videos of my travels, I aim to show the natural beauty of what the Canadian backcountry has to offer. Sometimes I find myself framing shots to show only what I want to show and highlight just how amazing it can be. There's a reason why I can access these areas and why these roads are built and maintained. These are work sites creating many thousands of jobs and providing the necessary building materials for humanity. It's absolutely mind-blowing to see the incredible beauty that BC has to offer on just another logging road. As a van lifer and hiker, I prefer spending my time here where I have less constraints on freedom and the backcountry access is unparalleled. I appreciate the efforts of the forestry workers and without maintenance these places are quickly reclaimed by the wilderness. But it is sad to see the gigantic stumps of 150 year old trees and that's part of why I set off on foot, to see things how nature designed it. It seems every year the roads reach out a little further, but there are still vast areas of untouched landscapes, rugged, isolated mountains that are very difficult to reach. Let's hope to keep some of those places intact. I hope that wasn't too preachy. It's not exactly breaking news and I don't have any solutions to offer. If this was to suddenly become a national park then sure things would be totally different. The land would be protected but I wouldn't be sleeping here tonight. All these roads would be blocked off. They let it grow in. It'd be hiking access only. There'd be a designated campground down in the valley that you have to make bookings for. There'd be crowds and tour buses and it starts to seem less appealing. But changing gears uh, I got some cooking to do and uh, a large chunk of meat that needs to be rubbed. And there it is. Look at that. So I've got smoked paprika, pepper, salt, garlic, brown sugar. I'll mix all this together in a bowl, then we'll get to the rubbing. It is much nicer to have a meal like this after a big day when you feel like you've earned it. I do have a, a mountain lined up, but the weather has just been uh, so unpredictable. It seems to change by the minute. I think I could have snuck it in today, but it's too late now, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. So I'm going to put a half cup of water in the pot. And then the ribs. So we'll pressure cook on high. For 20 minutes. I still haven't received the part I need to fix this chainsaw. It still works, just not in the greatest way. I'm gonna have to use it tonight though if I want to have dinner. It just suddenly got windy so I'm moving the van over so I have a wall to build my fire behind. And I'm not too sure why but we got one two, three, four different fire pits. So I'll use all those rocks, clean that up, and just make one nice one over here.
in there gently. Yeah, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Once again, it's perfect. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. And uh, if it looks good, I'll set off for uh, Camp Peak. And maybe I can get Mount Dorothy as well. But it's hard to say until uh, I'm up there and I see what it looks like. Yeah, that's a dream come true. I don't know what to do next. I want to keep eating, but I also want to have something to eat tomorrow night. This is so hard. Just one more bite. All right, right back into Grizzly Bear Central. This is one of those places where I actually carry it in my hand as I'm walking. Come around a corner, just be face to face with one. Best be prepared. I have no idea what the weather's going to do. It was raining this morning, then it cleared off. Now it's uh, cloudy again, so it's going to roll the dice, see what happens. It just doesn't look like there's going to be a perfect end-to-end -end bluebird day anywhere on the menu right now. If Muggsy Bogues was ever reincarnated as a little dog, this would be it. Just tiny and built and so aggressive. We've had two days off and she just starts bullying me when she doesn't get out for a good hike. She needs to get out for a good rip every single day. If I was working in a factory and she had to be in a house all day long, she'd tear it down to the foundation. I came down this way last year from Eyebrow Peak so I knew this was going to be an easy bushwhack. I mean, this is as good as it can possibly get. You just got to hop over some deadfall and that's it. I caught a glimpse of Camp Peak uh, on that Lake Lehane Glacier day. It looks like it's doable. I mean, it's not going to be non-stop avalanches like Mount Macubri was. There's certain times of the year when an avalanche is more prone to happen, but it doesn't mean you just have to sit around and do nothing. Uh, like every single mountain has a different layout, different weather and wind conditions, so just gotta keep trying until you find something that works. Looks like it's cloudy up there, so I'm just going really slow, taking lots of breaks. It's 11 o'clock right now, so maybe by the afternoon it'll burn off. Well that passed, now it's nice again. I wonder what's next. There's three dark clouds over there. At first glance, I didn't think I'd be able to get up that, but the more I look at it, the more inviting it looks. I'd rather be on dry rock than trying to kick step up that. The snow is just so soft and wet, even Rocco is struggling to stay afloat. This all looks so straightforward from the drone. Just walk straight up there. It'll be so easy. I've been searching high and low for a route. I'm not having much luck. It's really steep. It's high commitment. And it's all crumbly. I was flying the drone around to see what I could see and somehow I crashed it into the snow over there. 
So yeah, I'm going back down. I'm gonna see if I can find it then we'll go from there. I don't know what happened. It lost signal too. Last time a bird took it down. I don't see any uh, birds around here. I'll see if I can get it reconnected and turn on that find my drone feature. It's gotta be here somewhere. What's wrong with me? Why do I keep going? <laughs> Come back another day when the snow is all melted and this will be an easy hike. I'm just so close. I gotta get it. Eyebrow peak over there, what a monster. I can't believe I day hiked that. I think my spirits are much higher when I don't have to post hole and my feet aren't soaking wet. I gotta pull up my big boy pants though and finish this thing. So yeah, I clouded it over as soon as I got here. I was wondering uh, this morning when I set off if I could do a double summit on Mount Dorothy, but no, not gonna happen. I'm getting uh, slightly miserable with these wet snow conditions. Bring on the summer. I bet you this wouldn't be such a bad hike then. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna head on back to the van. <laughs> The drone looks all right, no damage done. They're pretty durable, so long as you land on something soft. I had it in the sport mode. That disables the obstacle sensing, and I wasn't looking at the screen. I was looking out there to try to find where it was. I didn't realize it was so close to the mountain. But when I'm up there, I make sure to take photos of all the other ones. Mount Dorothy looks like a good one to come back for, but I just want a, a dry hike end to end. That's all I want. Yeah, I got actually got some leftover ribs here. I'm gonna finish these up. Well, yeah. I think they're better when they're right off the fire because they're just so soft. They melt in your mouth like butter. But yeah, it's still pretty good. <laughs> we're not allowed to sit around. Go climb another mountain, she says. No rest days allowed. I was just walking around this wreck site and look at this. Look at all these morels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't believe no one else has taken these, so I will and make a nice snack.
God, they're just so good. It reminds me of uh, bacon. They're like the bacon of the mushroom world. I was going to do some gear reviews in this video, but I think this is running on a little long, so I'll save that for the next one. I don't know what I'm going to do next if I should uh, stick around, try to hit another peak, slosh around in the snow again. Yesterday on my way up when I was bushwhacking, I slipped and fell and I took a hard jab right in the ribs. I'm having some uh, mobility issues today, so maybe I should go into town and try to score a shower and uh, heal up for a couple days. But yeah, I think that's the end of this one, so thanks for watching. Thank you to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you in the next one.